Welcome back. We are looking at a picture here taken by our Jesse Walker. He took this in the backyard here of the news station. This is of the comet that is uh, visible for, we'll be able to see it tonight, but he took this last night at about 8.15. So there is a good chance to view this again tonight and even for the next couple of nights where we'll have some clear skies. So we have been able to see this for the last couple of days. Tonight we're here, it should be a little bit higher in the horizon. So the best way to locate this is to find the planet Venus, which is just a bright star right above the horizon. If you look up and then just slightly to the right, you should be able to easily find that comet. Um, the best time to look for this is about 45 minutes after sunset. So uh, here in the Terre Haute area, that is about 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, if you're in Illinois, it would be about 7 p.m. Central Time. So another good viewing chance for tonight. We are tracking that frost advisory in effect through 9 a.m. this morning. We do have a couple current burn bans in effect from the state of Indiana. Um, we have added a few more counties to this, and I anticipate adding even more counties as we go through the coming days as those drought conditions worsen with no rain in the forecast. Taking a look at our temperatures across the valley, we are tracking much cooler temperatures today. We've got Paris sitting at 30 degrees. Mattoon is at 32. Here in the Terre Haute area, we are sitting around 40 degrees. Again, much cooler than we were at this point yesterday. Washington is 12 degrees colder, only is down to 14 degrees from this point yesterday morning. So we do have a very cold start to the morning. Our winds are going to continue out of the northwest today between 5 to 10 miles an hour. And for what we are tracking for the coming days, we are tracking that first frost overnight tonight into the morning hours. We're going to continue to stay dry as we don't have any rain showing up in our forecast period. We're looking at a warming trend as we go into the end of this week, which will lead us to a mild weekend. Looking at our national satellite and radar, there is not a whole lot going on. That leads us closer to home on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar where all is clear. Looking here at our future cast, we're going to start the morning off with just a few clouds off in our eastern counties. Those clouds will continue to work their way out as we go into the late morning, early afternoon hours, leaving us with clear skies for the rest of the day today and for the next several days. These clear overnights are what are going to lead to those very cool overnight temperatures that we're tracking those um, below freezing temperatures for the overnight tonight. Here is that temperature trend once again. We are looking at those cooler temperatures holding on for one more day. As we get into tomorrow, we'll start to see an increase in temps as we go into the weekend where we'll get back to where we should be for this point in the year by the start of next week. So here's your forecast for today. We've got a high of 60 degrees, sunny skies, winds out of the northwest at 7 miles an hour. Going into the overnight tonight, again, we do have those temperatures dropping down below freezing. As we are looking at the rest of this week, we are going to see those temperatures continue to warm into the weekend, leaving us with a beautiful mild weekend in store. But those overnight lows are going to still remain on the cool side as all of that warm air will escape overnight. David. All right, Mallory, thank you so much.